and that's going to be a standard account. So that's often there whenever you're using accrual methods for invent for for the collection inventory assets for the sales cycle. So if we sell inventory, if you don't have inventory, then of course you wouldn't have it. I'm going to call this one furniture and equipment. Now that one, I'm combining two things together. I'm basically putting all my property, plant and equipment or furniture and equipment in one account instead of breaking out the, the fixed assets, but they're going to be long-term assets. I'm going to call this accumu accumulated depreciation. So that's the depreciation related to it. And then we're going to go to the liabilities, which is accounts payable. I'm going to call payroll taxes, fairly standard payroll liabilities. I mean, liabilities, which is taxes payable. And then sales tax, we're going to assume we have to pay sales tax payable. And now I'm going to go to the equity side of things, which I'm going to have owners draws, assuming it's a sole proprietorship and they draw money out. Owner draws and owner's equity, which is kind of like retained earnings if it were a C corporation. Then we're going to go to the revenue accounts, sales or revenue, cost of goods sold, only used if we sell inventory. Then we've got, I'm going to call insurance expense, fairly standard expense, miscellaneous expense, fairly standard, but something you want to be careful of using too much. Office supplies, payroll expense, telephone expense, and utilities, util utilities. I think uh, I didn't spell that right. I'll use this, then spell check if you can't spell utilities right and see if you got it close enough so it, so it fixes it properly. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so then that, that, that I'd like to now color code these just to make it a little bit easier on the eye. I wouldn't do this all the time for my personal practice, but it is often easier to use. So, so I like to, to break that out and it might be easier for us to focus in on here. So we'll, and it's good practice in Excel for formatting, for formatting sake. So let's add the green ones are going to be the assets. So assets go on down here to the, to the accumulated depreciation. I'm going to make those green with a, with a dark green background and a light green.